Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this, the Audi Q3 and this car is for sale. It's a pre-owned car. The car as you can see looks really nice. You know what? Headlamp washers which is not there in many luxury cars nowadays. Projector setup, LED DRL and the massive Audi grille. Now this car, no matter how badly you look at it, nothing can happen because it has a Nimbu Mirchi which adds to the anti-nazar element of the vehicle. Now you can see the design. The wheels, I don't like them much because they kind of look like wheel cam, not alloy wheels. However, it's running on brand new tires which is a good thing, like brand new rubber. Rubber is from Hina. I don't I don't think I've heard of that tire brand actually it says for CM if you guys know about this tire brand do let me know in the comment section below tire size happens to be 215 65 16 so yes a little under tired for a luxury car you can see the black cat cladding running all over the place car looks really nice very compact but it doesn't look as compact as say a GLA which actually looks like a hatchback on steroids 35 TDI quattro written right there dual exhaust as well love the lights of Audi cars and that is a rear wiper let's open the boot right away as you can see boot is actually decent size it says welcome because you're welcome in the boot at any given moment spare wheel is obviously a space saver without an alloy the tire size is so sad that I can't even tell you about it right now. 145, 80, 18. Yeah, that's actually bigger, but just to get everything right. Meanwhile, yeah, some effort to close the door. Can okay, you see the design of the car? It's actually ageless. I mean, it's timeless. <laughs> what is ageless? It's so stupid. So at the rear, there's actually a decent amount of space on offer, but this thing protrudes a bit. So three people are not really welcome because obviously of this hump as well. You don't get a center armrest, but you get three adjustable headrests. Meanwhile, you get a rear AC vent, scooped out seat bag, magazine holder. In fact, let me just sit inside and tell you how is the seat. Seat is nice, under thigh support is a bit lacking, headroom is adequate. Hook, handle, hook, everything, light is also placed there. Cabin is all black for the sporty treatment. The door pockets are really large, so you can keep a big fat bottle right there. So in terms of practicality, this car is kind of nice. Yeah, it's making a little bit noise so it doesn't get keyless entry these are the controls for the power windows this is for the door lock and lock yeah electric seat adjust for the driver's seat and yeah good amount of bolstering as well plenty of airbags why is you making noise car okay so now we'll just turn it on right away as as you see as soon as i turn on the car i realize that yes it is a diesel meanwhile so we can adjust the steering both for reach as well as rake that I've done for the moment. I love the design. This thing can be closed like this. That's so simple. Quarter written here just in case you forget that this has got four wheel drive. Electric parking brake. That is also a very nifty feature inside the vehicle. Meanwhile, twin cup holders, 12 volt charging socket, air conditioning. Obviously, it gets climate control, air conditioning. This is for the multimeter system. That is the screen. Let's turn it on. There it turns on. Okay, AAC is making a lot of noise. Just press this button to turn it off. Yeah, multimedia system. Okay, sorry, this is the button, turn it on. There you see, it's a little basic, but let's get into reverse. Yeah, it doesn't get reverse parking camera, but it obviously gets reverse parking sensors. Now let's hear some audio right away. I don't know what kind of a song that is, but audio quality is really very nice. It doesn't get a touch screen, no sunroof. So this is a lower trim, but auto dimming inside rear view mirror. No, not really. It looks auto dimming, but there's a button there. A lot of light placement here. Love the, you know, the way the quality of the cabin is so nice indeed. So definitely a good car in that sense. And the glove box is big enough. So this car, although it's around four years old, it's a 2015 model year. It's still very well aged somehow. So quality, everything seems nice. Traction control button right there. Anyways, let's get driving right away. Right, let's get going, getting into drive straight away, handbrake down. And let me tell you that for a person who's looking to buy a used Q3, well, that seems like a great option. However, please remember one thing, when you're buying a used Q3, you have to keep a few factors in mind. Do not expect the maintenance of the car to be as cheap as say a Maruti or a Hyundai car, because obviously this is a German car, uses more premium parts. And uh, sourcing of parts isn't that difficult now, considering this is actually the entry level model of the Q3. Now I'm actually searching for paddle shifters which are not there in this vehicle, but I can obviously shift down like that get into triptronic function downshift and there it loves to rev revs all the way to 5000 rpm around the corners it's quite stable as well thanks to quattro which channels power to all the four wheels so yes performance is not an issue at all here because this motor is quite punchy now this is a lower trim but this is not the base trim because the base because the base trim of the audi q3 actually was the s model they called it the sport which had lower power at 140 horsepower this one i presume it produces 170 horsepower from its two liter diesel motor 
more than adequate performance for driving good amount of punch lower down as well turbo lag is well contained so in the city you won't face any problem but get hard with the gas and it gives you a push in the pants feel no 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 it pushes you back into the seat kick in the pants feel hota hai facile kick in the pants feel hota hai anyways the whole motive or the aim of saying the same thing was the same thing but anyways with okay the ride is on the stiffer side the car is sprung a bit on the stiffer side which means that you know you can't really drive fast over bad roads you have to be a little bit comfort uh, rather you have to be a little bit careful over there to get comfortable meanwhile the horn is also really very nice i love the whole feeling of driving a german car because it just feels so indestructible in spite of done, having done almost 50000 kilometers this car in no way feels old it just feels i mean it feels premium and without a doubt it's a better pick than buying a new creta however What about the maintenance? Yeah, maintenance. Like I told you, will be on the higher side because obviously it uses premium parts onto the gas. The instant response motor gets vocal, and when it gets vocal, you know you realize that it's getting into the top end and enjoying it because it really has a top end as such as well. Steering isn't the most responsive, but yes, it is direct. It doesn't give you the most feel or feedback as such. Ride quality, like I told you, is on the stiffer side, which means the suspension is on the stiffer side, which is actually a good thing because it just means that you know the car is actually a good handler. But there's some more to body. on offer and overall the feel dynamics are great only ruined by the steering which is not so feedback rich as such brakes of for sure for its stopping power as well you never going to face an issue as such you know when you get into the gas because there is response like there is that lag but post that there is the response and it actually you know gets ahead quite quickly and sure footedly as well so some want a blind spot in the rear view mirror but overall i would say that you know The zero to hundred kilometer per hour sprint is also pretty quick in this vehicle. It doesn't hesitate, and it's always there to give you the punch and push you forward ahead in quite amount of good time. By the way, I was talking about the Audi Q3 S. That one came with a manual gearbox. Yeah, that is right, a manual gearbox, and it was front wheel drive. This is a quattro channeling power to all four wheels. And when you channel power to all four wheels, well, it's a given that you know traction will not be an issue. In fact, you know even when you turn off the traction control, there is no problem or whatsoever. maneuvering the car really easy good amount of ground clearance as well which means that there is ample amount of clearance to actually be driving this car over bad roads but you know in spite of having quattro i would not recommend driving this car on off road scenarios anyways a single is green which means that gear box in sport traction control off left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator revving the motor it revs above 2000 rpm sure footed punch this gearbox is actually short shifting somehow because it understands there's this urgency which i'm asking from it but it does perform well gearbox is smooth shifting it's quick it's fast as well so the price of this used audi q3 happens to be rupees 17.7 lakhs or somewhere around that just under 18 lakh rupees what do you get for rupees 18 lakhs new in the market a hyundai creta but in terms of the engineering and of course the abilities of both the cars is a massive difference but then obviously the age is also a deciding factor for many people but if you're looking to buy a used audi q3 i would say that you don't need to hesitate because this is a brilliant car at the end of the day only thing is that the maintenance is something which actually makes people worry but there's so many people who are doing after market service and uh, what not for the q3 and for premium cars right now that getting hold of a person who's able to manage a car is going to make life very very much easy as well that said i cannot deny the fact that in case god forbid any part fails that can get a little on the expensive side but then parts are also having higher quality so the tendency to actually fail will be slightly lower than mass market cars however there are certain parts in this car which mass market cars do not get at all because obviously there are a lot of stuff in this vehicle which can be described as a bit complex uh, right from this dsg gearbox which i love to put it in manual mode and shift myself there revs like crazy loves to rev i mean i love the fact that the manual mode is so responsive meanwhile it's a seven speed box and in manual mode it's just so much more responsive as well brakes show footed expectedly phat kyu jati hai tumhari convince me so guys this is my vlog of the audi q3 what is the fuel economy it's somewhere between 9 to 12 km per liter all depending on your driving style but 
okay there's so much of a blind spot in the right side rear view mirror that i have to actually bend and check it out meanwhile okay a little bit of a rough road you can feel that stiffness right here so guys if you're looking to buy an audi q3 well i would suggest that you know check it out in the description the link where this car is actually on sale and i would actually give this car a big thumbs up but before buying it i would just try to figure out that what is going to be the maintenance cost like what is going to be the cost of part replacement and if there's an audi showroom near my house as well because at the moment as i see it there was an audi showroom near my house which has unfortunately closed down that is a lexus the grill is so big it's so big it's so big that it's bigger than most of the vlogs which i do so guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye take care see ya